Hi, I'm Hari Singh. Some of you know me from the rallying circuit. Some of you know me from the Mahindra Great Escape. For all those who don't know me, I've been in the business for the last 20 years. I'm going to share with you some of my experiences that I've learned over the years, which is going to be of immense help for your off-roading today. To start with, I'm going to show you some of the technical aspects of your Mahindra vehicle. To begin with, we have the ground clearance here. For off-roading, you need good ground clearance. And your Mahindra vehicle has been designed for off-roading with great ground clearance. Usually, the differential or the exhaust system is the most vulnerable. And you've got to keep that in mind. You don't want to hurt that while you're negotiating, you know, really big obstacles. The section ahead of the front wheel of the car is called the overhang. The shorter the overhang, the steeper the angle. The steeper the angle, the more off-road capability your car has. Now let me show you the departure angle of the car. Come with me. Similar rules apply for the rear overhang. The shorter the overhang, the better the departure angle. Better the departure angle, better off-roading capabilities. Apart from the approach and the departure angles, we also have the ramp over angle, which is essentially the ability of the car to negotiate a hump between the two wheels without scraping its underbelly. I hope this session was helpful for you to understand your vehicle. Now let me show you the two 4x4 manual shifting patterns we have in the Mahindra vehicles. We we'll first go to the Bolero and have a look at that. Right in front we have the 2 edge, which is the normal driving position. You pull it a notch towards yourself, you fall into 4 high. A notch further will bring you to a neutral position. And then all the way down towards yourself is the 4 low pattern, which is the low ratio and high torque lever for off-roading. You notice this is a linear shift pattern and the similar one is available in the Thar as well. Here we have the other manual 4x4 shifting option. This comes in the MM540 and the 550. The two-wheel drive position is right here. Push, pull it towards yourself, it shifts to four high. Push it towards the left and up, it goes into neutral. And then push it further up, it falls into four low for the low ratio. Mahindra vehicles come with two options for four-wheel drives. We have the electric shift and the manual shift. In the Scorpio here, we have the electric shift, which has three options, the two high, the four high, and the four low. The 2H stands for two-wheel drive high, 4H stands for four-wheel drive high, and the 4L stands for four-wheel drive low. 2H is for normal driving when you're driving in the cities and on normal roads, whereas the 4H and the 4 low are for off-roading. Now let me take you and show you how and when to engage the 4H and low. So we have a little uh, grassy spot here and uh, we are on two wheel drive right now but as we are getting a little into a little gradient I am going to get a little wheel spin here and uh, as you see that I am not move, going much forward I'm getting a lot of wheel spin in two wheel drive and I am almost come to a stationary halt. This is where I am going to shift into four wheel high and uh, this is where you watch how it pulls me out of this situation here. This is the beauty of four-wheel drive. Right now we are going a little downhill. It's a little slushy and I'd be happier if I engage the four-wheel high for better traction on all four wheels. This will avoid a lot of wheel spin and make me feel a lot safer.
this little incline is quite slippery and it can only be done in four wheel high. We have enough power so we do not need to shift to four low. Now we have a situation here, we have this small little stream coming across, we've got slush, we have to decide as to what gears we got to go in. We have an option of four wheel drive high with first gear or four wheel drive low with second or third gear. Uh, being slushy, I would opt for the low ratio gear with a second gear option and maybe even a third gear option with that, which will also help me with the speed and momentum to get through this. I've had a look at the stream, it's about a foot deep. I've done a rec uh, recce on that. We're coming to a little stream with a lot of slush around it. A lot of slush inside as well. And the exit is pretty slushy as well. So I've opted for the 4x4 low and in second gear, which will give me, hopefully, which will give me enough traction, enough motion, and a, lot of, a little bit more speed to get out at the exit. There we go. That seemed pretty, pretty much the right choice. I hope those cues on driving in slush, mud and water were helpful. You could also get an opportunity of driving in sand as well as in snow. Snow driving can be very treacherous. You need a good set of tyres or a good set of snow chains. Driving can be very slippery. You have to be very cautious and attentive at all times. For the desert, I would prefer the rugged and powerful Mahindra 4x4 vehicle. It has the torque, it has the speed and it has the ability to climb the dunes. Before you go out on the dunes, I would like you to take a few precautions. Deflate your tyre pressure on all four wheels to about 20 psi. I would advise you to be in 4x4 low ratio. Play around with the second, third and fourth gear depending on the what situation you are in. Driving in sand can be also be very tricky. You got to accelerate very smoothly and brake smoothly as well. Or else you will be on your belly and will be stuck. By now, I'm sure you're ready to take on any of the Mahindra Great Escapes that we have in this country. Happy off-roading! <laughs>